just grandfathered in all these construction modules for me. That's kind of annoying. I think you would you're gonna get a kick out of the the way the new modules work. I might come watch you futz around a, with them for a little while. I bet you I can submit a ticket and they might comp me. Oh yeah, I saw someone talk about getting getting daybreak cash back. I'm actually I, I, I should think about doing that because the idea that I spent daybreak cash on these construction bundles and they refunded me certs is pretty fucking awful. Yeah, it's kind of dumb. I, uh, it's kind of dumb. I mean, I mean it's I like can it's just like, unlock them on my bond. That's like, I suppose that's like being refunded Monopoly with Monopoly money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that. That's love bad. Deeg. Love you, Deeg. I love you too, man. I love you too. Do I have a Oh, I posted them? this. Let me read this. Let me read this. Planetside 2 is still private. Oh, the Reddit? Yeah. They're 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 riding this thing all the way to the end, it seems. Oh. I think some of the Oh. It's already over. Helpful. My webcam crashed again somehow. Oh. Love when it does that. Uh, isn't it almost the 10 year anniversary? Nah. Or 11 year. That was last year. Excuse me. I was going to say, I think, the 11 year it, I think it's up November. Soon. It's still a ways off. Is it November? Yeah. All right. Everything's still working? Cool. Hopefully they didn't nerf the uh, Helios thing. <laughs> I think I think it's been balanced. I'm not sure to what extent, though. Because I'm going to use it. I, th I remember really enjoying it. Of course that. you are. Oh. Can you still hear me? Yeah. My planet side locked up. That's weird. Wow. Okay. All right. Max Entia. The man whose name sounds like a sneeze. That's right. Did I miss a month of daybreak cash? If I had oh shit! Rip. That feels bad. Rip my Just cash. A day. Oh no. Amorish it is, I guess. All right, man. Let's go. I think it's the uh, July Freedom Bration celebration. <laughs> uh, yeah, whatever. Where does join combat put us? Econom. Econom. Sure. Econom. Oh, we're overpopping it really bad. Oh, I think Econom was a, an interlink facility in Planet Side 1. Chimney Rock, maybe. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sorry, PC fan. What? Yeah, it's the sound it was making. How's the weather been out by you? It's been it starts starting to get hot. warm over here. Yeah? yeah? It's hot. Can you beacon me at Chimney Rock? Oh, it's so uh, good to have a squad mate. Oh, never mind. I can spawn in. Okay, good. Yeah, okay. I need different morning. music here. I need different music. How do I change my... Oh, B. There it is. That's better. I don't know if this is a fight or not. We're going to find out, though. The pops look good. Oh. Some 
hill campers on there. I see. It's all out in the field now. Oh, uh, another game that I played during your absence is I, uh, played a bunch of Fallout 4. Oh, I knew you started that. What's the yeah. verdict? Yeah, well, I... Oh, God. It's a fun game, but I think I'm to the point with it where I'm... I've had enough of its systems. Yeah. And all I've done is completed the Far Harbor DLC. That's it. Oh, so... It's getting a little old. It's it's a kind of exhausting. Yeah. There's so much, so much like loot to sort through. There's so many decisions to make, and you know, I don't mind making like decisions in quests and shit like that. But making decisions about like armor and stats and like mods and buildings and yeah. junk and just like, ugh. if I'm trying to find a way to play it where I, I can engage with that shit last, but that's kind of what makes those games what they are. What they so, are, yeah. I don't know. I'm conflicted. I, I've decided, though, that, that uh, maybe the most important part of playing Fallout for me is the just the radio station. I don't know why I'm going through a phase, but I'm really into, like, fucking baby boomer music from the Fallout games lately. Yeah. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, just, I'm really into it. I gotta stop spending impulse grenades like they're going out of style. Uh I think we're hosed at Chimney Rock. Yeah, I think we're hosed too. I'm gonna I'm gonna try Just to get towards the point. Killed. That's a tall order. Looks like we still have the point. I guess if I can get into it, that's yeah, get pretty good defense. Yeah, get over I mean it's hard to defend that. You can defend like the areas around it. You can get up on the uh the rock here, yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna chill on the point. Ooh. Desync. I think it's over. They got us off it, I think, now. Already? Maybe I can blow up one of these lightnings. No, we still have the point. We do. I think they've they mobbed. Oh, no, it's locked. That's why they can't take it. Owned. It is locked. We have them capped at two moss skylands. Let's just go ahead and buy. We'll go ahead, base. Play the aggressor. Biolab in the north. Oh, hmm. is it up? Okay, that'd be better. No, it's the garrison next to it. Close though. I had to overhaul the uh, light assault ban on my channel because it was getting overused. Just light assault ban all the time? Yeah, like I had like like a whole bunch in my back to work through. So I, I had to set it up so that people can only redeem it once per stream. Once per person oh, that's per possible? stream. That's yeah, cool. apparently. Are you going to let us take this? Okay. Can't drive your vehicles into this point, Chimney Rock. Vehicle column. A strange fight this is.
I was watching my stream bottom the other night when I was getting farmed. Hit registration in that stream is terrible. So I'm hopeful like you that's tell that today. you were getting bad hit reg. Oh yeah, it was it was like, especially on the replay. I was like, wow. Where'd you end up going? I'm at um. Tumas Skylands right now. Is it good? Uh, it's not awful. I don't know if I like this base too much. Hey, it's indiscriminate justice. We riding tonight. We ride. We ride. As in hell run. How are you, Just? Thanks again for helping me uh, get the Rel podcast time stamped out. I haven't had time to review those yet, but I should in the next couple days get that pushed out for people by, uh, by the end of the weekend. Been pretty good today. Happy to help. Yeah, I appreciate it. Up to I Ethan need now. the help. I really feel strongly about doing a lot higher volume podcasts, but in order to do that, I need the help. Or I need the podcast to pay me my, uh, you know, my full time salary. Then I could easily. There you go. I can do a podcast a day, like Joe Rogan. Well, that's not going to work. Oh, no, it worked. <laughs> mm. Operation Tidebreaker. In the morning light. I see you trying to commissioner me. Dudes here. This fight is oddly fun. I'm trying to figure out how I need to play it. Maybe light assault's the key. Yeah, just play on the rocks. Yeah, I'm going to do a little infiltrating on the rocks. Boo. Boo to invisible man class. Don't do that. Oh, my God. And I get flanked by a light assault with a shotgun. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> you better come to play. That's what they're saying. I got a commissioner for this guy. Come back. Gotcha. There were a lot of topics covered there. The conversation migrated a lot. You lear learned you lean more on making more markers rather than fewer. Fighting the shortening list would be easier. Yeah, I think the summer event has started. Um, July something. Some kind of a weird portment. Oh, no, we lost it. Sad. Lost the oh, that is sad. The tech plant in the south. Is it mostly the same as previous summer events? I've never done a summer event. Let's, let's have a look at the Achievos. Uh, events. Tidebreaker. Score kills with the holiday weapon. Earn support ribbons. Aerial anomaly ribbons. Huh. I wonder if aerial anomalies are back. Uh, kill enemies after you launch from the Corsair's passenger seat. That sounds fun. <laughs> that sounds cool. It's a little narrow. Kill or assist in enemy vehicles while in a vehicle yourself. 
Rewards. Luma Fiber Trim on a Corsair and Harasser Luma Fiber Trim. I think I have Luma Fiber on my you Corsair. Have the, you have the ghetto like Luma Fiber from that bundle. That octopus one. I love it. Aerial Anomalies again. I've never, I've, I've never played with an aerial anomaly. I'm kind of excited about seeing what that, what that is. Are those the ones that you have to be in a fighter for it? <laughs> I love sea boring lightnings. There's no one here. Where's all the pop here? In vehicles, harassers Apparently. running around. Yeah. Joke's on them. There's a freaking tunnel from here to the point. You fly your aircraft up to the anomaly, wait a bit while the Tempest thingy fills, and fly back to the buoy to drop it off. Sounds like it's kind of inspired by um, LLUs from Planet Side 1. Yep, there are some blue dudes setting up a point hold here. Which they'll have in 10 seconds when the cargo facility clears. If we're being real douches, we should go over to the cargo facility and just put a hack on it. Not enough time. <laughs> should have that idea a minute ago. No. That would be uber douchey. How did I miss? Excuse me? Shield generator critical. Ba, 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 da, ba, ba, ba. You like to ride on my rocket 69. <laughs> like to ride on my rocket 69. This baby, baby boomer music. It's a thing. It's amazing what they could get away with singing about back then. Where's this go? Oh, the crescent. The rocket is ready to fly. What are you getting up to over there, Max? I'm just sniping some guys. And trying usually, to run into the point. Usually, the quieter you are, the more degenerate you're being. It's not like super degenerate necessarily. Okay. You think you're a fit judge of degeneracy? Is it this side with the balconies or the other side? This is it. Nice. Let's see if their balcony is guarded. It's guarded. I just hit that heavy Destroyed. three to four times with the commissioner. And he's still alive. Excuse me. Come to this base. I need your help. I am at this base. Are you? Oh, I see your corpse yeah. now. There's a reason that you weren't here. Now, I could be playing a class that does a little bit more. If you could carry your weight, that'd be great. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On my rocket 69.
You know, no implant feels like cheating in this game more than InfraVision. I'm just going to put that out there. I hate it, though. I know, but it's, it's it feels like cheating. Like whenever I die someone in InfraVision, I'm like, oh, come on. I'm not saying it is. It just feels like, look at you and your blue-ass camera. All right. Yeah, I'm sticking out like a sore thumb. I like it. It suits you. Did that decimator just hit you? Nah. Oh man, I almost got that harasser. That was a great C4 toss. Oh, got double team. Took one down. Resume. Hey, you have uh, Amazon Prime, right? Yeah. Give me your your Twitch Prime stuff. Oh yeah, you can have that. Or I else. Forgot that you need that now. I do. I need it. That's almost Thank enough you. for me to buy a coffee with. Almost. Yeah. I can buy a, a soda at the Fred Meyer with. Oh, man. I want to pick. I wish you could pick up C4. It's tossed. There he is. There's the sub. That's it. Wow, you're a 22 month sub. Let's go. Apparently. Such loyalty. That means I have a big dick. <laughs> Once, one month equals one inch. That certainly explains uh, what's been going on in your personal life. <laughs> uh huh. Absolutely. I don't know how I got flanked. This facility fall to the enemy. Jeez. Oh, shot the shit out of that guy. Fuck. I don't know what's happening at this base. They're on the point. Yeah, they, the they're bored because they're, they're about three times as many dudes as we did. I just got shotgun flashed. Owned. Oh, Outside of the spawn room, feels good. Yeah, that's this this one's done so. Bio lab fight. Bio lab fight. You can um uh, bio lab. Granted, it's the shitty bio lab, but that's okay. I'm gonna ride this out. Thirty more seconds. Couldn't handle it. Or it was just sucking too bad. Probably that. That's what she said. Just wasted all those resources on that C4. Yeah, I think you would find uh, some of the topics that we discussed in the Lex interview pretty interesting. I'll have to give him a peep. Oh, there's nothing up here. I never know where to go at, the, at this file lab. Did we just end it already? Back home. C4 
Nazi land whale in his max. Talk about taking the fist, that guy. Got a bubble shield, and it looks like we're pushing a construction base with it. Oh, I see a cluster of tanks. See if I can single one out. See. Oh no! I feel like I should be able to jump on this rock. Yeah. You feel privileged to that? Feel to your right? And I guess. Oops. Maybe this heavy loader doesn't have cat like. What a fail. <sighs> cat like on every loadout. It's the way. My C4A must have black armor on. Shit. Yeah, I think you'll enjoy the Lex interview, Just. There's some good There's food NC for thought Antier there. Here? About the planet side community and gaming and media in general. We talked for 20 minutes about Star Wars. <laughs> what you talk about Star Wars? And like 30 What's minutes the... about baseball. It's like a four and a half hour oh, long yeah. interview. Uh, with Star Wars, so I, I I can't even remember what we talked about. It's right at the start of the conversation, so it's all of work. Would you like to ride on my Rocket 69? Would you like to ride on my Rocket 69? No, what a kill zone. This is gross. Yeah, the Rel interview was, was pretty short by comparison. It's actually the shortest one him and I have done. Yes, run into my line of fire more so I can kill you. Looking back on it, there, there were a few questions that I thought I was going to ask Rel that once I got into the interview, I was like, eh, I don't feel like it. But yeah, once I get these interviews out, I'm excited to send to get some more schedule. Keep it going. Bop, bop, I don't know. Cute little eight streak. I'll take that. Congrats. Just doubled my kills this session. <laughs> Double it up. I've interviewed Rel a lot, probably more than anybody else. You may have already asked him his question. Yeah, like some of the planets I stuff we've talked to death. And I, I really, I'm really reluctant to retread over stuff we've already talked about. Unless there's some obvious reason why he might have a different response to it. You know? Do we know where Relit has ended up? I do. And uh, just It's not public does. knowledge yet. Okay. It will be when the podcast is out. It's nothing too. Okay. Nothing too remarkable. 
or surprise me. Arena net. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Don't they have the tendency to just pick up everybody? From Are you in it? I, I don't know. Yeah. They didn't hire me back in the day. They had a DBA job that I applied to way back in the day. <laughs> God, that sounds awful, though, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. I'm not sad I didn't get the job. Although, working in game dev, I think, would have been fun. If not at that particular job. Yeah. Oh, we lost. I, know, I, th I think I'm better suited to the work I actually do these days. Yeah, I think that's probably an accurate statement. Like, I'm sure there are game dev jobs I could do okay at, but not that I'd be more suit more more well suited to. Max, or door, more well paid by. It. Yeah, that's the ticket right there. That was awful. Yeah. Plus, like, the thing I'm really realizing about Rel, like, I'm, I'm realizing just how, like, private and introverted that dude is. Super introverted. If you, if you look over our interviews, which are, are totaling, like, about 12, 13 hours across all four we've done, as of this podcast when it goes out we've talked a startlingly small amount about personal life <laughs> anything related to which it. is uncommon it is like At it's, least it's for jurors go it's kind of hard to, to do as talk as much as we have and talk as little as we have about anything outside of his work mm-hmm We did, we did get a chance to catch up offline a little bit. So after we finished recording, nice. I learned a little bit more about what's going on with him. And he's making some changes in his life. Moving on. I'll be excited to, uh, hopefully, within within a year's time from now, he'll have something exciting to announce to all of us. It might, that Sweet. will result in some new content for me. We'll see, though. We'll see. It's like that Black Sabbath song, Changes what comes to mind is that black sabbath song i think black sabbath originally did the song but then um, really uh somebody i think so i'm not i can't think i've ever heard the black sabbath rendition i don't think i ever have yeah because you always you always hear um i think it's black sabbath somebody check me on that Or was it David Bowie first? The, David Bowie is the one everyone hears, I think. I don't know who yeah, did Yeah, I think David though. Bowie's. No, it first came out by I Black Sabbath. It's the jingle, jangle, jingle. Oh, that's a lot of minutes. I think it's Black Sabbath. I don't think I'm full of shit. Why not both? Why not both? Rel's answers to personal questions were quite in the brief side, you must say. He's on he goes on tangents about planet side, but not so much about himself. Yep. You hope he gets to develop a game from the ground up. You're curious to see what he'd do with it. But yeah, I mean, I, I guess it's not a big surprise. Like, who the hell's listening to this? And it's gonna be public anyway. He's he's um he's spending some time doing the indie game dev thing. He's gonna try to build his ah. own thing. And he's working on a survival style game. Well, those are fun. Seems like that Valheim is a heavy inspiration, so. I'm pretty sure he played the shit out of that game, too. Yeah, I think like he did. Absolute shit. Which reminds me, I need to cancel that server. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Back up the world, though. Oh, yeah. No, I have a backup of it. Okay. How do I get out of this space? I'm like, it, this space is like a prison. I can never get out of it. I've got spurs that jingle, jangle, jingle. Well, 
Unless somebody's been playing it. I kind of don't think I kind of don't think so. I don't think anyone has been. Just you, me, Yaga and Song. I'm surprised by how hard my interest in that game fell off after I built a, a couple of structures. And I was just like, <laughs> do I need to keep unlocking new tech and building new shit? I don't know. Like, I kind of feel like I've, I've, I've done it. The new shit is cool, though. So it does give you a lot more building things. If I can, like, lot. discipline myself to not... <sighs> See, it's, it's like a push-pull for me in that game because the thing I get excited about is taking... What I've what I've learned and what I've unlocked and using it to build interesting things, but the more time I spend doing that, the more I just get burned out because it's just it's so time consuming. It really is. It's it's super time consuming. I love killing infiltrators. Valheim wasn't much to do there besides build structures. Yeah, I, th I think you might have felt differently just if you you jumped in the server with us instead of just watching. There is a feel that game has that is very cool and unique. Yeah, it, it's, it's kind of. I don't know if it's if, if you can feel it easily when you're watching it. You know, Cardo, our friend Cardo, of Planet Side Arena fame, infamy. I guess might be a better way of saying that. Um, is really into Valheim on his stream. And he does like hardcore runs and modded shit on his server. That's pretty intense. I think after I publish the next few podcasts and the next round of invites, I'm going to make a real push to get Matt Higby on. I think I want to do that. And you know who I had on the hook last year and I never followed up with? was um Luperza. Margaret Crone. She was uh ex planet side dev and she works on Ashes of Creation Oh oh she's been in some hasn't she been in some like dev updates for that game too? Yeah like yeah video updates. Yeah she also does some like D and D thing. She's pretty busy. I I, I kind of am yeah. pessimistic that I'm gonna be able to bottle lightning twice. She said yes and I did I didn't close the deal and get it scheduled over. We'll see. God, I love C4 and Maxis. The building and mobbing in Valheim never spoke to you because you're watching the dev of another game which has all that more pal world? Pal world. Can't say I've heard of that. Personally, I'm getting back. I'm, I want. I like have a big JRPG kick going on. I want to play more. That's like one of your like standby, like reliable things you go back yeah, to. Go like one of your it. home things when it comes to gaming. Yeah, absolutely. This song captures my feeling about playing games with you. Let me listen to it. Don't they know it's the end of the world? It ended when you said goodbye. <laughs> and why does the sun go on shining? For some reason, my aim today is working better. I don't know why. It was so bad a few nights ago. I think it's one of those things where, like, I ran into enough, like, newbie-ish players early in my session that I got a chance to warm my aim up. And now I can actually shoot things.
how is it acceptable for a game to sell cosmetics for a beta? Well, I don't know. Like that's that's like the whole world of um, early access, isn't it? I mean, what are pre-order bonuses but that? I suppose, yeah. Right now, if you pre-order the Guild Wars expansion, you get a bunch of cosmetics in game you can use right now. I'm but that, that makes a little bit more sense to me. Yeah. Because then you get them immediately. Yes. I guess, I guess maybe the real extreme example of that is Star Citizen, right? Oh, yeah, that was uber bad. I was looking at the Ashes of Creation pre-order packages, which is what Oh, really? What, what's what's in them? Yeah. It's like you get to two future beta test phases. Oh, I guess it's not too bad. You get in-game currency and two months of game time. It's not awful. How much is that? 75 bucks? So basically they're charging you... Twenty dollars for beta access, more or less. Eh, I'm less upset about it, I suppose. That game's never gonna. Go. Maybe it will. Maybe I'm being pessimistic. You have to be careful about games going heavy on monetization in their betas. It's a sign the dev teams are strapped for cash. Well, yeah. I mean, they Ashes of Creation is they is entirely privately and and um what's the word crowd crowd finance isn't it crowdfunded yeah yeah now i think it's pretty like they have they've secured funding for it but they could always use more i imagine i don't I'm think sure that's true there's no such thing as having too much funding i don't think that i don't think that exists like the fellow once said ain't that a kick in the head to the well, that's a song prevail. I know. You know what? I was talking to Brianna the other day about this. I, I think I, I've realized that in the last six months that my speaking voice has become sl slightly lower in pitch than it used to be. What? Have you noticed that? You that? Or am I, am I imagining it? What's your take on it? Um, unsure on that one. Unsure. I talked to yeah, Brianna about it, and she was like, oh, yeah, definitely. I was like, what? Really? I'm oh. imagining it. She says she, she says she, she assumed it was the testosterone. Oh, that could be. That would make sense. I suppose. It's kind of strange. The developers this call is... Pal World an open-world survivor monster collection game. Sounds like a Valheim Pokemon mashup. Spit in. This, facility fall to the enemy. this isn't even an alert. It's weird. It will be. How is it not? We've been game. We've been going for what? How long? King says bed. I couldn't feel any better, or I'd be sick. <laughs> it may not be a matter of too much funding, and could just be a matter of them not spending their money wisely. I don't oh, know. I sure. think I think when it comes to projects like that. No, no amount of funding is too much because if it works, they fucking rake, you know? Yeah. And and if it doesn't work, then a, an extra, you know, like, s pinching pennies w uh, isn't going to make the failure any better. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'm thinking about that wrongheadedly. I don't know. Tumas Tech, that looks good again. I'm going to spawn over there. Pokemon and Valheim mashup sounds pretty accurate. 
unto the maximum break loose from the minimum This is going to not sound like a compliment, but I'm intending it as a compliment. Oh, boy. I'm ready. You ha you have a little bit of a Randy Marsh sound going on, and I dig it. Randy Marsh. Oh, you mean when I'm doing a little bit of crooning? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> this, okay. uh, uh, no, no, no. It, it's not a bad thing. Because... I don't know who Randy Marsh is. I'm, I'll take it as a compliment. He's a hysterical character in... Uh, uh, he, he's voiced by Trey Parker, highly talented guy. Ah, uh, okay. so. I'll have to look that up. From South Park. It's it, it, justice. It's only it's only the slight crooning on that. It, it mm. just reminds me of one thing in particular. And <laughs> I don't, I don't, it's just sticking in my head right now. Let me see if I can find it. Mm -hmm. Oh. Fragile to the maximum, break loose from the minimum. Otherwise, oh, just shotgun me through the wall, a recursion. No problem, dude. Bruh. Well, they say you better accentuate the positive he live money the negative i charm to the affirmative don't mess with mr in between i knew that wasn't gonna do anything yeah it's just like server lag and that pro guy is probably, I don't know. If he's recursion, he might be West Coast, but what's my ping? 95 milliseconds. Nah, that was way more than, than 200 milliseconds latency. Oh, that's... Same guy. What? How did you just get knifed in midair? Uh-uh. Uh... -uh. uh... Man's recursion, he does what he wants. Got those cheat codes. <laughs> Uranium fever is gone and tracked me down. Uranium fever is spreading all around. This fallout well music is so fun. Dying. Not the max. <laughs> The hamsters need to be uh, restarted. Um, is, is the server performing badly? I, I've i noticed a few hitches myself. Hmm. It doesn't so feel I, bad just be in general. Little, the hit reg be is definitely better bad. today. That's not saying a whole lot, person, frankly. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm also sucking a little bit, but I don't know if that's saying a whole lot. Sex on the Sunderer. That's a name. That is a name and a half. Imperator Kingpin? Is that the recursion guy running yeah, around with the, the guy shotgun? Yeah, guy killing me. Yep. He literally just crashed a lib, hopped out of it, and two-shot my face with a shotgun. I mean, he's probably pretty good, in addition to whatever connection nonsense no. is going on. No doubt. <laughs> As the f fucked up thing about this game, choke like on his, on his Baron. so he's just like the, all all the best players are the, the most sus because like they're the ones who can get the most mileage out of the weirdness in this game's engine. Oh wow! Look at this. This is a beautiful, beautiful honorish I mean, knight. Also, OP. So, this guy a friend? Probably not. Should I do a little UI-less planet side? This game can be startlingly pretty for its age. I got him. I just out him. Get shit on. 
Let's That's go. right. It's not a hard gun to use, you recursion tool. Tell him, dude. Fuck. Oh, that's a friend. Sorry. Sorry, I'm playing without my UI. <laughs> I assumed you were an enemy. I did teabag him after, too. It was necessary. Can't see who kills you with the UI off. Can I respawn with the UI off? Let me see. No. Come on, game. Let me go. All right, that worked. Oh shit, a <laughs> friend. He looks like he's NC. God, you go by camo. You can't tell anything in this game. Oh no, I have the wrong jump jet. Not on a this. I feel so sluggish. You got skirmishers. Yeah, they suck. True. Oh, I Once can't. you tr use impulse nades and fucking drifters or whatever they are, Icarus, 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 you can it's, never. Ever, it's very ever hard go back. to get off them. Yes, they feel amazing. The moment when you realize those Doritos are the only way to tell friends from foes. It's so true, man. It's so true. Aw, oh, jeez. Shit, that's a friend. Dude's, that, dude, he's, he's yellow and he's a friend. Yeah, that's a little strange. I just saw that. I guess They're just sitting white. outside in vehicles. They're just not pushing. No. Anyone close enough to me at C4? Any other fights? Econom Motor Pool. Alright. No UI. Let's go. Who are we, who are we fighting here? TR. Okay. I can chopping up all the white woman's meat. Don't you shoot into my spawn? Unacceptable. Pete don't care whose meat he chopped. Oh, that hit red was awful. Bad hit. We got overpopped. It's very hard to play without UI or mini map. Very hard. Oh, yeah, we're getting smacked. Okay. Yeah, this is. Uh... This is some barrel fish thing going on at this base. Yeah, hey, I killed that guy. Yep, got him. I think I put the UI on, my kills should count double. <laughs> yeah, okay. Not a real fight, sadly. It's sort of the theme, I guess. Oh, 
Oh yeah, our pop is we are seven percent under popped. Random TR infiltrator on the other side of the bubble shield. Of course he's there. Of course he's there. Of course. That's a weird. Why wouldn't there be an infiltrator there? You should All expect right. that. I guess I'm gonna flex back to the tech plant. The tech plant, yeah. Yeah, it's kind of strange that an alert hasn't popped yet. He's whacking. I mean, it's packed. nearing my bedtime regardless, but yeah, it's strange. 9.45, talking about bedtime. Jeez, you are well, getting older by 10. the minute. I've had a couple older of really by... late nights, and I need to not do that tonight. I feel ya. Also, I just got shit sleep last night. Didn't Couldn't fall asleep to like 1.30. Like... Not acceptable. Oh, they're just so many Spitfire turrets down there. <laughs> Don't jump out of it. <laughs> These are some infantry stuff going on at the base now. The continent pop. Yeah, I did see that. That's okay. I don't mind being all on the pop on the continent basis. Still means you're gonna you can have good good fights, individual fights. But when you have them all in vehicles outside the base, like a, a, there are a lot of planet side role players in this at this fight. That kingpin recursion guy's still here with the Baron choke. Of course he is. He's surf popping like a good recursion. He's still there. Who else? He's gonna come back. He's gonna fly a mosquito in and jump right through one of these doors. I'm calling it right now. Probably flying a mosquito in that door that you're at. Not on our watch. We are the no, anti-recursion. I'll, I'll literally just sit here and wait for him to run through. A rinky twinky got me. In? Yeah, it was just a little aggro. It might be people looking to do that vehicle summer directive. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Sheep. Sheep, man. You know, I think I'm going to do a video sometime in the near future telling people to enjoy their video games and disregard achievements. And see if they feel like a better human being after having done it. I just hate playing video games for achievements. Me too. But it's it's so easy and tempting to do so. How's it explain? Twinkie Twinkie, camping above a door. I got you too? Nice. Fucking Rinky. <laughs> Fucking Rinky! Coming for him. I might get that Rinky Dinky motherfucker. I don't know if you see these guys camping. in the corner here. Uh, enough distance. Achievements are when you know the video game is finished and it's time to move on. Yeah, it's like, it, it's pe achievements solve the problem of, of giving you things to do in the video game. And if that's the problem you're trying to solve, is that really a problem? Is it really a problem? Uh, I found Kingping. He's up on the balcony. Oh, he is now? I just left yeah. the balcony. I'm coming back to that one. He's back. Coming for him from above. I think he might still be at large. Yeah. <laughs> T-bags. Got him. Nice. Yeah, he's dead. They're doing pale, uh, pale tiger crowd here. Hating on teabagging recursion. He would approve. 
I mean, one of the few things that I will probably agree on. <laughs> No lightning, no! Harassers on my nuts. Yeah, yeah. He's playing like a bitch, too. He's in the vehicle. Is there any other way to play? Nah, there's not. <laughs> oh my god, he's still going for me. Okay, bye. <laughs> Thank you for the C4 compliment. That, that lightning was just begging to be killed. Aids. Problem. You find any good angles on this fight? No. Absolutely zero. What about the grinders up here? Apparently they are going to be new implants added into the game. Is that from the set that they teased like a few weeks ago? Like the... The, the max punch one. One increases vehicle weapon reload speed if you hit an enemy vehicle in the rear plate. Another that increases repair speed for a few seconds when you get out. So a fuck you vehicle implant? Oh, that's kind of that's kind of appealing to me. Oh, this song. Cutest personality. Shield generator. She had a well developed personality. Oh, C4 didn't keep my hands there. Thanks. Oh, I don't have C4. That's why it wouldn't leave my hands. Oh, he's they, uh, he's th back. These are a new pair to be added in place of the underwater move speed implant. Uh, I wanted to play with the underwater move speed implant. Why'd they remove that? Maybe I'll just make underwater move speed like better for everybody. Actually, I just respawned, but I guess more C4. C4 has been carrying my session by and large. Yeah, okay. Whatever that was. Take dictation. Well, da 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 ding da da -de. Oh, he is not a perfect. Personality. We go to the generator building here. Fire is gonna wreck me. Primal Utah Rapper. That's a fun name. I suck. I the underwater it. move speed was basically pay to win for Osher. Devs removed the implants to look into other ways to implement it. Yeah, okay. Pay to win. I mean, all implants are pay to win. Have you have you fucking heard of assimilate? Okay, fine, whatever. Enemy in the area. 
I guess it, it's an implant that feels like you have to use it. And it's a very narrow use case. So I, I maybe I kind of get that. All heavy <laughs> assault. So many dumbass vehicles. Just circling the wagons. Sir Planus had one, they could starve us out with resources. Alas, this is not Planet Side. It is now. some harassers. Nice. Kiss on the moon and song. I don't know the worst of this song. You were glad you got that taste of Planet Side 1 gameplay. It was an exquisite experience. Not sure you'd buy it. Nah, I mean, the gunplay is aged too badly. I think the vehicle play is still tolerable in Planet Side 1, but the gunplay is just a disaster. Yeah, I finally got my revenge on King. Long time nice. coming. A long time coming. I think he just might just let me kill him out of sympathy right there. <laughs> Like, he kind of didn't fight me that hard. Like, he didn't even see me. Who was just rattling me? Rinky Twinkie, got my revenge. But a passive planet side gameplay pays off. Shield generator critical. What did you take away from your planet side one experience, Just? Anything in particular that surprised you or stood out? That was cool. It's like, it's like I didn't even shoot him. No. <laughs> You think Planet Side 1's slower and more strategic work, pace worked because the gunplay was so bad. Put a very low ceiling on how effective skill alone contributed. Um, people who were really good still dumpstered you, but it, it felt really punishing, I think, to to lose in that game by comparison. It's kind of one of these that, that slowed the pace down so much. I agree with you, though. It was a much slower paced game. Fucking Rinky Twinky. My bane, that guy. 
one person can't make a huge difference working alone. I don't know if I agree with that, Just. I think one person has a similar amount of capability in this in that game compared to this. Like a single person can capture an entire continent in that game. Same as this one. Probably a little more easily, actually. More slowly, but more easily. Don't spot me, you bitch. Yeah, I'm getting tired too. I'm not an old man too. Yeah, I'm just about to tap out. All right. You want to say at least for the end of this cap? Losing this base? Six minutes. Yeah. Think you can make yeah, it? Yeah, we can. Uh I can stomach six minutes. That's a good threshold for me, too. Oh, they have the point. Yep. Might be faster than six minutes. I don't know if there's oh, a way to get... You can't decrease time. Yeah, I don't think they can speed it up. It's only one point. You might not have a spawn, though. Oh, uh, my God. Kingpin with his fucking Baron is driving me crazy. I can't kill him at yeah. any range. Because the thing kills from super far away. It's really yeah. disgusting. It's really dumb. It's really discouraging. Fighting a really good he's, player who's willing to cheese. I guess that's, yeah, that's like late stage planet side. Yeah. That guy wasn't even on my screen when he killed me. It's just... Through a wall. The best way. Oh, wait, look at that pop that he's surfing. Holy shit. 66%? The guy brought an entire extra platoon so he could farm with his Baron. Yaga, how goes the war? Uh, it goes good, man. I would love for you to join us, but to be honest, we're, we're tapping out pretty soon. We we're gonna write out the end of this, the end of this base, but the NC have made it a complete no fun allowed fest. So, yeah, this is this is Hubbard's town. Oh yeah, now they got vehicles at the spawn. No fair. You know, this little side building on the east side of the spawn room is really fun to fight in, if people come. Yeah, it is. It's like a two-story, right? Yeah. With a, yeah. With a roof. What you call a triple stack in the old country. Looks pretty hot out there. You come try us if you want, Yaga. Be pleased to have you always. VS Emerald. What killed you? Some dude with a masthead from across the map. Oh. Yeah, you gotta hide in the building. Well, I just, way. I tried to kill a heavy with a whole clip and didn't kill him. Right. And then got sniped. Vanu continent population down to 27%. Given the time of night, there may not be enough teammates to go around. Let's go. He's racked up two kills. Woo. Gaming. Oh, there's lightning right outside the door. There's multiple lightnings right oh, outside the door. Ah, he's beast. I was going to try to see for him. There are so many. I see you. 
I'm gonna find the perfect angle to see this building. It'll be glorious. This probably would be the time for the server to downsize the map since a mechanic existed. Like in a Royale. Wow, who ganked that kill? Lay that pistol down, babe. Lay that pistol down. Pistol packing, mama. Lay that pistol down. King Ping still shotgunning in his in his fucking ground air or air to ground. Unbelievable. What a chode. Yeah, it's pretty it's pretty chody. Pretty chody. <laughs> Thirty seconds. I'm and the pain will be over. For me. I'm gonna try to end this on a more enjoyable fight. I'm gonna go for a little bit longer. I wish you the best of luck. Thank you, old man Max. Thank you. I'm gonna go lay in bed and it's gonna feel phenomenal. Put your feet up, dude. Yeah, and if I'm lucky, my wife will give me a foot massage. I'm not usually lucky though, so it's about a it's about a two percent chance. We'll we'll all cross our fingers for you. Get that sweet Max yeah, massage action going. Probably in vain. But that's all right. Good night, all. Peace. Good, good night, Max. See you soon. Yes. You're not seeing any big TRNC fights. That's a relief, though, because we just get left out when that happens. You know? To me, that's a relief. And I'll move the mountain. Oh, it's like this ended quickly. There's the alert. Scale tips far too way, the other too easily. NC group is rolling over two moths, Sky Lance. Still the only game in town. I wonder where the TR are. Must be, they must have like a construction base out here. Let's see if we can find it, I guess.
with a smile. How have you been, Yaga? If you're still on the stream, of course. You're hanging in there, working on a new job. Hey, congrats on the new job. You, uh, keeping you busy? Maybe two moth skylines is the play. Check it out. Oh, this base. The space is so wild. Before dog. Haven't started yet. The buddy just said they have a spot and to reach out to the guy. Okay. Good to have a buddy on the inside, isn't it? It's not what you know, it's who you know. That is so damn true. So damn true.
successfully defended the facility. Yeah, it feels good to kill King Fang. Feels good. Here comes the Bastion to ruin the fun, right? guy clearly, clearly is not NTU challenged. He must be pulling a reaver every 90 seconds. You guys have any idea how how he was moving so fast? Right there. He didn't have the um He didn't have the uh the survivalist move speed buff on. He just uh I don't know how guys ADS at like 100% movement speed in this game, but a lot of people seem to do it. I mean, I assume he's ADSing. I don't know how else he's killing me at 15 meters. There. Is there a door here? <laughs> Big door. Don't stop. That armor is cool. I like that armor. That guy who killed me was wearing. Pop, pop. If you don't believe I'm all I say, come on and take my hand. I'm a rocker, roll them all night long. I'm a 60 minute man. That was some fun video gaming right there. Frame rate is getting hard. 60 frames. Ugh. 60 frames feels so yuck. Older than the trees, younger than the mountain. I belong. Loss of the facility is unacceptable. Three kills on that brick. Holy shit. Okay. That was a good note for me to end it on. That was a good note for me to end it on. I might push it for the alert tonight, but I learned my lesson last session.
to not push for an alert. It's because there's one happening. And because I have early calls that I'm running tomorrow. So I got to be up and alert. GG's, Yagos. Good seeing you, man. My webcam crash again? Yes, it did. Hang on. <sighs> okay. Cool. Well, I just got word that I'm going on a business trip next week, so I'll be out of out of town between Monday and Wednesday. But I'll be here around over the weekend, and the goal is to get the Lex and Rel podcast out to the public um, in that amount of time. Say hello to the cat. Hello, the cat. Wow. My webcam is just ready to go away on a moment's notice. There we are. Yeah, okay. I know you're thirsty. I know you're thirsty. Give me a sec. Here you go. Yeah, it's good. It's going to be a, a sales kickoff for the, the team. It's a chance for me to meet some people. I'm really excited about it. Oh, yeah, the job thing. Yeah, Yaga. I was stressing on it. It was... It's hard, man. I should talk with Lex about that in the podcast. I keep trying to pimp the podcast. I need to just get offline, get that thing published, so you guys can watch it. Um, well, I am going to actually go offline. Look at this new view of Deeg. How exciting. I hope that y'all have a good night. Please take good care of yourself and each other, and I'll 